at the Nashville Songwriters Hall of Fame induction night with Marcus Humming. How does that feel? Feels great. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not. I wouldn't kid you. It feels really good. You know, yeah. we've. I've been playing your songs on the radio for years, yep. and they're songs Bless that. You. <laughs> Speaking of blessings, yes. <laughs> you had a big blessing for uh, Rascal Flats yes. a few years ago. Can yes. you talk about that song? Ah, uh, yeah. Well, it was uh, it was many years ago. Really, it was 2005. I think it was. Um, and it's monumental for them. Yeah, it's a, it, and it's been in a lot of ways. I it's my biggest song. I would say in some ways, and um, um, but it, it you know it was one of these things. I I had a chance to write with Jeff Hanna, the Dirt Band, and that was a big deal. And I had actually just sung at a wedding for him and Matresa Berg, who's a dear friend of mine. I didn't really know Jeff, but I was a huge fan of the Dirt Band, and. Um, and so I knew I was going to get a chance to write with them. My wife had done the ceremony. My wife is a minister. And so they went on the honeymoon, and I had to, I was kind of wanting to come up with a little, maybe a little idea or something for a writing session. And I happened to have a very eventful conversation with a guy that worked at uh, BMG, where I was published at the time, a guy named Bobby Boyd, and who talked about his life and basically said some things to me one night that uh, it really just uh, sort of lit up a light in my mind and my heart. And um, I brought a little bit of the idea to Jeff Hanna. And we knew it was special. So I know this doesn't seem like much to people, but we spent two, two days on it. And again, that may not sound like much, but it was, you know, very, very intense time. And when we were done, the Dirt Band did, in fact, record it. The first recording of that song is actually the Dirt Band on, uh, on on an album called Acoustic. And nothing ever really happened with it. I didn't it. know that. Yeah, and, and I, you know, really a number of people did the song. I did the first piano version because it was really written on piano with a very specific piano part. So I did a record on Columbia... Uh, called All in Good Time, and that, and we did a version of it then. And and Jeff Hanna and Matresa actually sang the backgrounds on that, so that was special. Melody Crittenden did it on Asylum. It was just it was bouncing around. But I used to write with the Rascal Flatts guys a fair amount, particularly Jay. And they'd cut a few songs, and they used to always tell me, "Man, we love that Bless the Broken Road song." And I go. Yeah, go ahead, cut it, you know. And I, I finally just thought they're never going to cut it. They just, you know, people say nice things, but they don't mean it. And I had left the country uh, that summer that when it happened. I came back. My publisher said, you won't believe it. They cut it. Not only did they cut it, they're putting it out. I literally got out of the car and that was told to me. I heard the song on the radio. And, I, and to this day, you know, I've been lucky enough to have a lot of covers through the years. It's one of the most beautiful recordings. I mean, I, I was just blown away by that recording. I just think it's one of Rascal Flatt's most beautiful recordings. It's very simple, you know. It's not. It's not overly layered. It's very. It's very pure. What a beautiful yeah. story. Yeah. Thank you, Marcus. Thanks. And I, uh -huh. I will say this: when you see uh, Rascal Flatts perform that song live, it's it it's magical to yeah. be in the audience when they sing that. Well, Gary's. I mean, he's kind of a wonder as a as a singer. Um, I wish I wish they were here tonight. I know they. They wanted to be there uh, on the road and on tour, but yeah, that is a blessing indeed. Yeah. Thank you. Have a wonderful Thank night. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> CDX.